everyone, it's Beth from ScrappingWonders.com and I am so excited to be a part of the Crafty Maven Getaway YouTube Hop for International Scrapbooking Day, National Scrapbooking Day, whatever it is that you want to call it. Um, I have a little bit of a mixed media layout for you and this layout is all about um, my scrappy space. And so I did a collage photo which you'll see in a minute here. Um, of just my my small space I don't have a huge space just real quick what I did on that paper is I added some clear gesso to it I'm just prepping it uh, so that I can get it ready for some mixed media work and then I'm drying it it dries fairly quickly but you know me have to make sure that it's completely dry and then you can see it literally curl up in front of you like that how awful is that so I knew immediately that I was going to have to back this. So I cut about of a quarter of an inch off all sides of this paper and then proceeded to do something not very smart and something that I have never done before. So I don't know what I was thinking when I made this layout and you're going to see it. Wait for it. Watch it. Yes, I mounted my paper before I was done with all my mixed media stuff, which made no sense whatsoever. Um, because all it ended up doing in the end, you'll see, is that that paper warped a little bit as well. Also, big boo-boo there. You saw me adding tape, and then because my paper is curled, it kind of stuck to the bottom of that paper a little bit. But that's okay, because nobody's going to see it anyways. So I go ahead and smooth that all down. Oh, look, it's so pretty. And then before you know it, it's not going to be so pretty anymore. So this is the photo that I was talking about that I printed with um, the collage app on my phone. I used, um, I actually used Rana Collage for this one just because I like that it's simple with the way they set it up. And then I mounted it on a Project Life card and it's hard to tell in the video but that Project Life card has some um, pretty colorful stripes on it. So it's not just a plain white card. And then I'm sitting here and I end up playing with this pink paper and which then got me into the idea of, oh, I need pink paper because I have some pink elements. And so therefore I'm just going to add some more pink by getting some more paint, which you'll see in a minute. But that pink paper that I mounted, um, it ends up coming off. Yeah, I had some issues with this layout. This was not the uh, easiest mixed media layout for me ever but in the end I was happy with the way it turned out um, I'm also working with the Allie Edwards craft kit and then these paintbrush chipboard pieces came in the April Studio Calico uh, scrapbooking kit that I got for five bucks when they did that special and I had never had a Studio Calico kit before so I just figured let me go ahead and give it a try I gave it a try um, decided it's not for me so I, I definitely would not be subscribing to it but for five bucks I was really happy with what I got and then I picked out all of the chipboard pieces that I wanted to use from the Ali Edwards kit and I kind of placed everything down where I wanted it I even snapped a photo of it um, because I was happy with the way this was looking I don't know why I did that either with the little pencil markings um, because I took a photo of it so I really didn't need to remember where everything was. So here I am and I am grabbing some of my shimmers paints and if you have not heard of shimmers they are beautiful 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 watercolor paints that have shimmer to them hence shimmers and um, I'm just doing the smushing technique here and then realize oh I should take off my pencil marks yeah those didn't come off so well but I'm um, doesn't matter too much because you can't really see them once I'm done getting all of this mixed media down on my layout and you can also see that I ended up with some droplets yeah I wasn't planning on having those there but it worked out fine all I did was go ahead and add more droplets after I was completely done with my excuse me oh my goodness it's late and I'm trying to get this video done and so I had to yawn it out um but there I am I'm drying because I'm gonna go in with another layer in a minute um 
another color, another layer, another color in a minute. And it's a really, really super light pink and probably one that I should not have used because you can't really tell that it's there. You can, but you can't. So you'll see in a minute what I'm talking about. So I go and I lay that down and oh, yep, where is the paint? You really can't see it. So all I ended up doing was just getting water on my background. Now in the layout, it looks in the video, it looks a lot lighter than it really is in real life. It is there. You can see it. And I quickly realized that the smushing technique was not going to work with that paint because of how light it was. So I, that's why I grabbed my paintbrush and just added some paint where I wanted it. Then you saw me do the splatters. Um, and then you can see me wiping off. I do have a craft mat, y'all. I do. But I got this white board from Home Depot, thanks to Inky Quill. Um, and it wipes off just fine. So I'm just, I, I really make sure that I wipe it off as it's happening as opposed to my craft mat where I will just, <clears throat> I don't normally clean in between. I'll just leave it until I'm done with my mixed media. But with the board, I like to wipe it off before, um, before it dries. Yeah. Okay, having issues talking and getting this voice over done. Again, I apologize. It's late, but I'm making it happen. So here I'm using some Dazzlers, which is a beautiful shimmery texture paste. And this is the only pink Dazzlers as I, I have, which is a Tutti Frutti. And you can see it's really, really, really pink, y'all. Really pink. So pink. Um... So I had to tone it down. I wanted to tone it down with some modeling paste. And then I have this old Heidi Swap honeycomb um, stencil that I used. And I go across, so you can see I'm just fitting it there. And then I add some more. And I struggle getting that modeling paste out of that flower. Yep, I struggled so bad, but I make it happen. Um, it was just moving all over the place and I didn't have another hand to hold it down So it was a bit of a it was a bit of a struggle, but you know, I made it happen So there you go. I'm done with that part and then you can see on the stencil There's like a little top part and a little bottom part So I used those and did a little bit there and then I do a little bit in the top uh, corner with the other the other piece and again I struggled with getting that modeling paste out of there for sure um the next step is is for me to let this dry that's that's what I did it dried I let it dry so I'm back and uh, you can see that pink paper that I originally had on um, on my photo is is no longer there and then I was decided I wanted to bring in more black into the uh, layout. I went ahead and um, grabbed a piece of black cardstock that I have had in my stash forever. It's super old. It's all the way from Creative Memories and it's shimmery and beautiful and I'm hoarding it. Okay, I admit it. I'm hoarding it. I haven't used it because I'm hoarding it. So I figured what better layout than a layout about my scrappiness than to use it on. And then I'm hot gluing everything down because I have modeling paste and paint and yeah, it's just not going to work any other way. And then those chipboard pieces had little uh, chipboard pieces stuck in the handle. So I just popped those out with my quick stick thing. And then I took the adhesive off the heat of backing you know so I could get to the adhesive part of those chipboard pieces um, but yeah definitely use the glue anyways and then I'm going to glue my craft acrylic thing on and I always struggle with gluing these things on with the hot glue gun it seems like the hot glue dries too quickly before I can get it to lay back down so you're going to see me come back in there in a minute with the um with the hot glue to fully get it glued down because that C was popping up and we can't have that. Can't have a popping C. 
So there I go and I put a little dab and I somehow managed to squeeze it in there underneath that R as well. Yes, that took skills, folks, skills. And then of course, you know, you got the hot glue strings everywhere. And then I'm just going to grab, I love this pen. It's one of my favorite, 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 favorite pens. Um, I got it from Jet Pens thanks to um, Amy Tangerine had mentioned it in one of her videos and it's the envelope writing pen. And I love this pen. I love how they write. I just, I could use this pen all day, every day, if it was up to me. Um, so I'm just journaling uh, the story of me and my scrapbooking journey here a little bit. I started many, 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 many years ago scrapbooking. And um, I took a break. I took a really long break from it. And then I met my current honey and he told me to go and scrapbook again. So I did. And little did he know the monster that he was creating because now I cannot stop. And I not only scrapbook, but I do mixed media and I do all kinds of fun things. And that's it. I added some of my roller stamps and this layout is done. Thank you all so much for watching and hopping along with us on National Scrapbooking Day, International Scrapbooking Day whatever it is you want to call it. Thank you so, so much for watching my video. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks and bye.